this is the first video I'm doing with the new tripod, the new ring light, so please do let me know how it is. Obviously I'm still playing around with all the lighting settings, so just kind of let me know how it is. Hello everybody, how are we? So for today's video I thought we could do another collection video because those have been quite popular on my channel recently and I quite enjoy showing you guys what I have in my collection. So today, as you can tell, we are doing my Mary Poffins collection. This was kind of one of my first collections I started um, when I probably started getting into collecting. So yeah, I'm very excited to show you. And if you would like to see what's in my Mary Poffins collection, then just keep on watching. I think we're going to start off with what I am wearing. These are the only Mary Poppins ears I have and I made them myself. So the fabric is the same on the front and back. It's black with a silhouette, just as Mary Poppins at the top. Then it's got this like bobbly rim around the side of it. Then the bow's pink and then in the middle of the bow it's got a tape measure. I'm quite proud of how they turned out as well. They were uh, I've made three pairs of ears, so I'm really proud of these. And um, second thing, these, let me take it out. Okay, so these are some umbrella earrings. Um, I went to see Mary Poppins The West End Musical back in February, before lockdown and all of this happened. A friend, when I told her I was gonna go see it, she makes her own jewelry, so she made these earrings for me. Obviously they're inspired by Mary Poppins umbrella and I just think they're so cute and so unique. So yeah, I include them in my Mary Poppins collection because they are kind of Mary Poppins. Okay, next thing, my jumper. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it all in, but it says super califragilisticexpialidocious on it. Um, and then at the very bottom, it's got Mary's umbrella. It's just black, it's plain on the back. Pretty simple. I'm pretty sure I got it from Primark a few years ago. So yeah, that is all the Mary Poppins stuff I'm wearing. Um, there's one more bit of clothing, another jumper. This one, it says practically perfect in every way. And it's just got her little hat on the top. Now let's move on to like the actual collectible stuff. So I think I'm gonna start off with pins. You'll have already seen them in my pin collection video, but I thought I'd show you anyway, just in case you hadn't seen that video. So this is the first one. It's obviously got Mary in her jolly holiday outfit with the two penguins and I got this from, oh is it gonna focus? And I got this from Disneyland Paris um, in September. Uh, obviously September 2019, not to September 2020. And here's the second one. It's just her umbrella and it says magic fills the air. And I got this from Comic-Con October 2020. 2020, no, October 2019. We have one Mary Poppins bag, but I feel like this is quite iconic. It's the umbrella. I have lots of umbrellas in, her, in this collection, but it's just such an iconic Mary Poppins item. So, it's literally just her umbrella. It's nice and sparkly. Back, just has Mary Poppins on it. It's quite a small bag. I can't even fit my purse in here, but it may do, it was, you know, the perfect size bag for me to go to London and watch the West End. Because obviously going around London and going on the tube, I don't want that big of a bag. So it was just small enough, you know, to keep the things you need in. So yeah. Okay, now I think this next item is most people's favorite item in my Mary Poppins collection when they come around my house and see it. Because um, whenever I have friends around, everyone's always staring at this. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I think everyone's, the main thing that everyone draws their eyes to is this guy. It is a replica uh, umbrella of Mary's. It's literally a full size umbrella. And I literally love it so much. Um, I first saw it in the shop in Val de Europe, which I can never remember the name of, but it's the one next to Primark, in case you know which one that is. Um, I saw it there, but the paint work on the head was so bad, but I fell in love with it and I wanted it so badly. And so when we came home, we searched the internet for it and we actually found it on very.co.uk. And it wasn't that bad in price either. Um, I have done an, I did do an unboxing of it when I first got it. So I'll leave that in the comments I'll leave a link to that in the comment section down below. So I'm not sure if I mentioned the price of it in that one, but yeah, this is probably my favorite item in the collection as well. I'm probably gonna say that for everything, but 
changed. How cool is that? So up is a staple to everyone's collections. Obviously the DVDs. So obviously first I've got the Mary Poppins original DVD. And then Mary Poppins Returns. Pretty staple item to every collection, the DVDs. So up we have books. So I have this one which came with the Mary Poppins Returns DVD. And that is just this picture book. So it's just kind of like a book of the movie. Um, I think it has like some activities in here as well and just kind of a little overview of the movie. I have these two. This is a collection of a collection of six books from the original books based off of um, the P.L. Travers original story. So this is the very original one, Mary Poppins the original story. Then the sequel, Mary Poppins comes back. And then what is there after that? It's Mary Poppins opens the door, Mary Poppins in the park, Mary Poppins in Cherry Tree Lane, and Mary Poppins and the house next door. So I need to find them. These were in Tesco's last year, but they didn't have the other four. So I need to find them. And I kind of need them in the same cover as well, so it matches the collection. Beauty. And um, this is Mary Poppins in her, I don't know what outfit you describe it in, but it's the first outfit you see her in in the movie. Um, I love her. Um, I'm not going to show it in this video because it's not really Disney, but I do have a carpet bag that looks just like Mary's. I found it in a charity shop a few years ago and I had just had to get it because it just reminded me of her and I wore it and I used it to Comic Con and I got so many comments on it. But yeah, I got this from Disneyland Paris a few years ago. I think it was 19.99 euros and they also had her in her Jolly Holiday outfit so when we can go back to the parks I will be picking up the Jolly Holiday one of her. And I don't know if they do a burnt one but I kind of want a burnt one to match. I've got and the next few things are Primark, so we'll just work through them. This mirror. Every time I do a makeup video, this is the mirror I use because it's just my only like handheld mirror. But it just is practically perfect in every way, and it's this beautiful gold colour. And uh, it's a bit dusty, but it's a beautiful. Next up is this little coin purse. Um, a while ago um, Primark did coin purses of literally like every Disney movie. Like you can see here I have like most of the um, Beauty and the Beast ones they did. And so this one is of her little hat um, and the tag just says Mary Poppins. Got the flowers. Pretty cute. And the last Primark item is this perfume. Mary Poppins Returns perfume and the fragrance Sweet. Mandarin. Next up we have one Disney store item, then we're on, moving on to Funkos, then we're moving on to cups and bottles, then I have one more thing that I have to go around downstairs to get, but it's downstairs so I'll save it to last. This was from Disney store's 2019 Christmas collection, it is from their Legacy collection, um, and it is for the 55th anniversary of Mary Poppins. So it's just Mary and Bert in their Jolly Holiday outfit, and there's a penguin at the bottom. Um, it's not a snow globe, there's nothing in it, it's just literally a bauble. But because it's... Most of the Disney baubles aren't really like Christmassy. So as you know, I keep them out all year round. Like I have my poo one dangling down here. So I just have this sitting on my Mary Poppins shelf all year round. Because it's... You can't... If you didn't know it was a Christmas bauble, you wouldn't be able to tell. So... Now I am quite happy to say that I actually have all of the Mary Poppins Funko Pops. They only have one original Funko Pop and then they have four from Mary Poppins Returns and I have them all so let's work through them. This is the obviously the original one and she's in the same outfit that I have the plushie of. Kind of cute. I'm kind of disappointed they don't have a Burt Funko and like the Penguin Funko but hey ho. All the Mary Poppins Returns Funkos we have Mary Poppins at the Musical. I think this is my favourite outfit of hers from the uh, sequel because like it's the whole 2D scene and the, their 2D outfits are absolutely amazing so I really like that one. Next we have Jack the Lamplighter. I think he was my favourite character overall from Mary Poppins Returns because Lin-Manuel Miranda is just a god. So yeah. Next up we have Mary Poppins with Kite. And that's kind of her main outfit in the returns and you can see she's got her little carpet bag we love her and the next one Mary Poppins with bag it's basically the same outfit as this one but it's just with her coat off so it's literally 
is what she was wearing under the coat. Beautiful. Those are all of my Funko Pops, so let's move on to bottles. So when Mary Poppins Returns came out in cinemas, Cineworld, when major movies come out, they do cup releases for them. And for Mary Poppins Return, when they do Star Wars releases, there's usually like a ridiculous amount of cups to collect. Um, but for Mary Poppins Returns, there was a reasonable about, amount, so each time I went to see it, because I went to see it a few times, I got a new one. So here's the first one I got. It's got Emily Blunt there. There's Mary Poppins Returns. I'm not going to be able to twist it the whole way around. It's got Lin Manuel Miranda there. And it's got like some London scenes, and it's got all the characters down the bottom that my hand is blocking. And then the second one just says Mary Poppins Returns with the silhouette. And on the back, it says practically perfect in every way. And both of these ones, the lids are umbrellas. <laughs> kind of cool. Also, did this one, which is just a plastic water bottle. It says Mary Poppins Returns, and it has like. Um, I don't even know what design to call it. I was going to say umbrellas, but there's like literally all sorts of clothes around it. And again, the lid is kind of like an umbrella. So love the theming here, Cineworld. Something else I did at Cineworld for the release of Mary Poppins Returns is a popcorn bucket. And Cineworld doesn't usually do stuff like this for movies. They literally just stick to the cups. But this is so cool. And it's like, l I'm just going to show you. Like, it's an umbrella and you put your popcorn in the umbrella and the handle it's got the bird on it just says Mary Poppins returns on the front and it's just literally plain and it was this is so cool I don't know why I'm just so obsessed with this I love it it's just such a cool idea and yeah there is one more thing so I'm just gonna run and grab that so I'll be back I think I've already shown you this before I can't remember but this is my purse and it's kind of in the same I think it's by the same company as the bag and I think it is a knockoff of Loungefly as you can kind of tell from the tag I think it is a Loungefly knockoff but it's beautiful so the pattern it's got the umbrellas it's got some silhouettes of Mary and it's got flowers it's just the same on the back I won't show you the inside because obviously it's got all my cards in it but it just is plain pink on the inside okay and that is my Mary Poppins collection um i think mary poppins is my favorite disney musical i find it so hard to pick my favorite movie so i kind of break every everything of disney into its own categories and i know most disney mu movies are musicals but this is my favorite disney musical that has been adapted into a west end show that's a very specific category <laughs> um but yeah that is that my battery's about to die so perfect timing if you guys enjoyed this video please smash that thumbs up button if you'd like to see more of me more of my disney collection more disney content click that subscribe button down below and while you're down there don't forget to ding that notification bell me might as well you're already down there and i'll see you guys next time